How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, and we are here uh, at where are we? Uh, four four eighty four C, I believe, uh, in Oklahoma, Florida. Pretty much, not much here. There's a couple houses, but for the most part, is untapped land here. Uh, no stores, nothing like that. Now, T-Mobile has been on this site. And it's been upgraded for over two years now. Um, the only issue is it's been stuck at about 300 megabit backhaul for that two years. Um, as of today, I was here maybe a couple weeks ago checking, you know, I do my rounds on these towers pretty frequently. I put a lot of miles on these cars uh, for you guys. And um, as you can see, they have went straight to multi-gig. This was the last holdout in the county as far as like any tower under multi-gig speeds and now they're straight to multi-gig. Now I don't think this is gonna get tapped to its potential unless they actually start building more homes out here, which I don't think is gonna happen anytime soon. So, but it's really cool to see what's going on. Now you can see on the site, if we zoom in a little bit, you see T-Mobile at the top n41 all the you know the usual um verizon at the bottom and then old sprint equipment on the very bottom right obviously it's decommissioned it's just there at&t once again nowhere to be found now i did do a speed test unfortunately uh, i forgot my other phone at home so i, I really would love to speed test uh at and and i did i did it before the video and I was pulling a pretty consistent 26 to about 32 uh, down and about three, three to four up. So obviously they probably do need this site, but I, you know, if they did get on the site, I almost guarantee you uh, they wouldn't put um, C band or DOD on the site. It would just be low band 5G and then, you know, band 30, band 66, band 12, uh, band 14. First net kind of situation. They, I guarantee you they, would, they wouldn't go this far. So at the moment, Verizon, I see no permit for them to upgrade this site. And uh, so T-Mobile is already leaps and bounds ahead. If you wanna take a look at the engineering screen See what the spectrum is running. We can go ahead and do that. Let me run it back. 100 megahertz, EBS spectrum, 15 on 600 megahertz, PCS spectrum with the 1900 megahertz 10, and then the 80 megahertz uh, on, let's see if I can, there you go, 80 megahertz on that last channel, which is the BRS spectrum. Anyways, uh, very good to see network slicing in place the usual you know nothing nothing too crazy uh i did want to test out verizon before we get out of here because i i want to say this is a band 66 band 13 only site if i'm not i'm fairly sure of it let's take a look and i'm gonna turn off the sim card for t-mobile just gonna get rid of it okay so let's take a look at those spectrum bands okay no okay i'm wrong i'm sorry it no it has everything now for some reason band 13 is not showing up but is there i know it's there i've seen it plenty of times so it actually has four channel care aggregation so it's not it's really just missing c band so the speeds are not too too shabby, you know, you're getting is LT only obviously, but they're they're fine. They work good, you know. Just having the tower out here is fine. Obviously, there's not much uh usage from the site. And I've seen Verizon, they're going to, you know, they're upgrading all these rural middle of nowhere places with C band. So I have no doubt eventually, it might not be this year, but I'm sure next year they will be doing exactly what T-Mobile is doing and putting this up with the multi-gig and all that good fun stuff. Not bad though at all. Not bad at all. 
So last but not least, I want to see, we'll go back to T-Mobile one more time. And, I'll, and I only do that because I wanna see what happens on NSA 5G. So I wanna take a look at that. So we got SA 5G, let's take a look at NSA 5G. NSA only, and we'll configure. Okay, so we're we're there. All 220 megahertz of it. Let's go. Now, I do question, right, if this is 2 gig backhaul or not because on regular 2 gig backhaul sites, I'm able to get to about 1.7, 1.8 for the down you know for the downlink and this tower even though it's in the middle of nowhere and i know for a fact there's nobody using this site uh it's not doing that it makes me think maybe it's 1.5 the only way i would i would say okay that's not true is if i could go past 1.5 which on a typical site i'm able to do but on this one doesn't appear to be the case but the upload speeds as you can see it is doing upload carry aggregation uh, and that is between the PCS band the 10 megahertz on that okay never mind there it is okay no it's two it's, it's two Theoretically, there's no way it could do that. Okay, yeah, this too. I don't know why. Maybe somebody is using it. Okay. Now that, like I said, that upload is from the PCS band. But I also want to know what would happen if I went ahead and did band 41 SA and band 71 SA and leave the PCS portion out of the equation to see what upload carry aggregation can do uh, with that instead. Now you can see it clearly does not matter whether that 10 megahertz of PCS is there or not, right? is really not doing much for the network. Uh, speed's about the same, about the same. So really good to see. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video there, you guys. If you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, uh, share, subscribe, follow me on X at Terrell352. And until the next video, I'm out.